Hey guys, this is Bill Screenin, and welcome to how to set up a self-signed SSL certificate on IIS6 using OpenSSL on a Windows 2003 server. Boy, that was a mouthful, and let me break it down for you. All we're going to do basically is we're going to generate our own self-signed SSL certificate and install that certificate on a Microsoft IIS6 web server. Okay, now here's a note about the tutorial itself. I'm going to break it down into three parts for you. Uh, the first part is going to be the installation process of installing OpenSSL. The second part is going to be a walkthrough of the command line steps to generate the self-signed certificate. And the third step is going to be the installation walkthrough of installing that self-signed certificate in IIS 6. Okay, so to begin, let's give a little bit of background about terms. Um, OpenSSL is an open source project um, that is essentially a toolkit um, used for implementing secure socket layers or SSL. And it's also a pretty strong uh, cryptography library too. And what I found is that when you're working with the Windows environment, the simplest way to install the OpenSSL uh, toolkit is to use another open source project called Win32 OpenSSL. Now this is an installer, it's a GUI installer, that really simplifies the installation of the OpenSSL toolkit uh, because it provides you with a way to kind of skip the configuration and compilation of the source code files that are um, given with OpenSSL. So basically to begin the install process, step one, uh, you need to install the uh, Win32 OpenSSL uh, version 100A. Now um, I've taken the liberty of already downloading the file for you. So let me close these windows real quick and we'll walk through that process. Okay. Okay, so to begin, uh, go ahead and double click on the downloaded um, executable file. It should be Win32 OpenSSL 100AEXE. And initially, you're going to be prompted with a warning sign stating that there is a critical component missing. Um, I was able to complete this um, install on several machines and ignore this. Um, by ignoring this error. Um, if you want to, you can go back to the Shining Light production sites and our site, and they do have the uh, C++ uh, library you need, so you're welcome to download that. Um, for this walkthrough, I'm not going to, so we can ignore it for now. Okay, go ahead and click Next. You want to accept the uh, agreement. Okay. And here, uh, it's going to give you the, uh, it's going to install the OpenSSL package in a folder called OpenSSL Win32 under the root of the C drive. You want to change that, now's the time to do so. Um, I'm going to leave it alone for this walkthrough. Okay. Now, at this step here, um, copy OpenSSL DLLs too. You're going to want to change um, this option to the second option, which is uh, copy the DLLs to um, of the bin directory. This will be quite helpful in step number two. Okay, and go ahead and install. Okay, perfect. This concludes uh, step one, uh, installing the OpenSSL uh, toolkit on a Windows 2003 server. And step Two, we're going to walk through the command line arguments required to generate a self-signed certificate 